today's video, we're going to be showing you how to adjust the rear ride height on an Arrow X5. Welcome back to the Power Public YouTube channel. Today's video, we're going to be showing you how to change the rear ride height on this Arrow X5. Now, the X5 runs its unique rear ride height adjustment with a cam, uh, or a cam adjuster, and that lifts or raises the ride height. So it's a pretty simple system, but we're going to show you the details. As you can see, the car is in its pre-delivery stage, so we're going to assemble some parts first, and then show you how to do the axle. So let's get to it. I ran up a check, I might do it again. Enemies close, have me thinking they're friends. Ten toes down, I'll be free until the end. Crib outside the city, I don't feel safe in my ass. Took so many years, I've been swaying for the wins. I'm in debt to no one but the one who took my sins. I do it for real, there's no reason to pretend. If I do it once, I do it again. Add it up, add it up. Bankroll, bankroll. Euro, Euro. Peso, peso. Add it up, add it up. I'm just doing me, everything is on me. Oh, you matter what? Add it up, add it up. I done doubled up on the workload. I think I fell in love with the bankroll. Pray up, get money, then we lay low. Then we lay low. Add it up, add it up. Bankroll, bankroll, euro, euro, peso. Okay, as you can see, the card is now fully prepared. Plastics are on, stickers are on, they look great. We did get a question in the comment section about how to adjust the pedals on an X5. So first up, I want to show you how to do that. So a cool little feature on the X5 is they've got a little tab welded here on the chassis. So you can just, with a 10 millimeter ring spanner, loosen off this nut, move the pedal, and then you can simply move the screw down to the required height onto the little stop. Oops. If you case out there, you can just wind the nut back up again to get the right height and then all we're going to do is do that nut back up. Another great feature is the brake rod is left hand thread and right hand thread so you, to adjust the the right length you don't actually have to unscrew the the rod ends there it works like a tie rod so all you do is get an eight millimeter ring spanner undo one lock nut Undo the other lock nut. Now the two lock nuts are 10 millimeters and the, it's got two flats here in the center and that's an eight millimeter. And then we can just adjust our rod to the right length. When you've got the right length, hold the, the eight millimeter and then simply do up your two lock nuts. Now when you adjust the rod, you will have to change the tension on your safety cable. So your accelerator pedal's got the limit screw here or the the stopper so that when you get full throttle when your engine's attached you can adjust this screw here so you don't put too much tension on your throttle cable or the butterfly of your carburetor and then also too you've just got your little jacking screw here so similar to the brake you just crack off the, the nut from the top pull the pedal into the position that you want adjust the jacking screw onto the little tab on the chassis and lock off the 10 mil nut on the top and then to adjust the throttle stop we simply loosen that nut off there 
and then you can screw the throttle stop in. It's got a captive nut, so you can hold that. Move that to the required length and simply lock off the stopper bolt here with the 10 mil spanner and you're good to go. So one of the key features of the Arrow X5 is its adjustable rear ride height. Now there is a little cam system there for easy adjustment and we're going to show you how to do that right now. So the first thing I like to do is loosen off the sprocket carrier and slide that out of the way so you can get good access to the screws. So the first thing we're going to use is a 13 millimeter spanner and we're going to loosen off all the locking screws. So now that we've loosened off all the hardware for the bearing cassettes, the last thing we have to do is loosen the bolts inside the cam and then we can adjust the right height. Three, two, one. So for the purpose of the video, we have removed the hub and the sprocket carry so you can see, but you don't have to do that if you just move the sprocket carry out of the way. You can get your Allen key in to the locking screw and there's a 10 millimeter ring spanner on the other side and we can just loosen that off. And then if we do that on both sides, so grabbing the supplied spanner, it is a 24 millimeter by the way, you can see that the cart comes in a standard position with the line facing forwards and that is center right height. If we rotate it 90 degrees, you can see that the eccentric is now in its lowest position, so the axle is low and the right height is high. If we rotate it another 180 degrees, we can see that the cam is now at its highest position, so the axle is high and the right height is low. And it really is as simple as that. Once you've changed your ride height to the position that you want, simply lock off all the screws on the cart and you're good to go. After you've adjusted your ride height, don't forget to do up the cam locking screws. Simply slide your sprocket carry back into position, do up the cap screw, and you're good to go. So there you have it. That is the very unique rear ride height adjustment on the Arrow X5. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up subscribe and turn on those pesky notifications. It really means a lot. You can follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Power Republic or you can go to our amazing website www.powerrepublic.com.au. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.